Hi, it's Rich Tarani with TMC. We're at Telecom Exchange 2016 in New York City. Uh, Eric Contact with Globenet is with us. Welcome to the show, Eric. How are you? Rich, how are you? Thank you very much for having me. Uh, I'm doing very well, thanks. Uh, tell us a little bit about your company. Globenet is an international carrier's carrier. We operate one of the most sophisticated subsea networks connecting the United States with Bermuda, Brazil, Colombia, and Venezuela. It's about 23,500 kilometers of subsea fiber, and we're very happy to have the top global companies on our network uh, providing services between the continents. Excellent. So um, what sorts of trends have you been seeing in the market recently? Well, I think there, there are several things going on. Uh, I think you see a, a continued growth, all driven by Internet and, and more lately driven by video. So you need to have the right infrastructure with the right resiliency, diversity, to be able to address that, that growing demand. Uh, it's, it's a CAGR of about 40%. Uh, we continue to see that despite the fact that some of our markets economically are starting to slow down. But the end users, at the end of the day, they don't stop, right? And in particular, the youth market is driving a lot of usage on cellular devices, smartphones, tablets, which ultimately is converted into the need for international capacity. So uh, recently we've seen some interesting things, uh, Cuba opening up uh, internationally, Venezuela having a lot of financial challenges, uh, Brazil financial challenges coupled with uh, Olympic interest. How, how's that impacting business? Well, I think on the, on the Cuba side, I think it's going to take a long time before it really becomes something real. You have uh, 12 million people on the island uh, with very little disposable income, so it's going to take a long time for that really to to take off. I think whatever investment is done is really going to favor or attract people to go into the island. But I think the, the countries still have several things between the U.S. and, and Cuba to work out uh, on that front. But there's a lot of interest for sure, a lot of uh, capital available to upgrade the island and, uh, and, and help them basically come to our uh, terms today. I think in the case of um, Brazil, the Olympics, of course, is a very exciting thing. Uh, we, our former parent company, OI, was a sponsor for the World Cup. Uh, so we delivered a vast majority of international circuits for the Cup. I'm very happy to report that we had absolute perfect performance during that, that event. And now we have the Olympics coming up in later this summer. Uh, it's definitely going to drive a significant amount of capacity. Uh, we are very ready um, to deliver the highest quality of service. We built a team just to support the Olympic um, the, uh, services. And many international carriers uh, and content providers rely on Globenet to be able to deliver those feeds out of, the, out of Rio. Very exciting stuff. A lot, of, lot of, a lot of things happening. Yes, yes it is. Okay, so um, in terms of the competitive environment, why companies are choosing uh, Globenet versus others, how do, you, how do you differentiate? Well, number one is I think we really embrace partnerships, and we work very, very closely with our, with our customers. In some cases, they're both customers and providers. I think the way that our network has, was built and architected have, has allowed us over the years to provide the highest quality of service. And the other thing that we do is we work very closely with terrestrial providers throughout the, the countries that we service, therefore allowing us to deliver uh, an end-to-end -end solution for, let's say, our carriers in the U.S. or carriers in Brazil so that they don't, it's a one-stop shop. They don't have to worry about uh, buying pieces of a particular solution. And, and that's worked very well for us. And having, of course, the right product set is important. Uh, one, one of the things that we recently um, announced was a network functions virtualization product as well as an uh, internet exchange product. And both were initially designed for carriers in Latin America that, let's say, for uh, uh, regulatory reasons or others, could not really have direct presence in the United States. So by putting a product like that together, we're satisfying their demand to be let's say at the Nap of the America, 60 Hudson, to be connected, let's say, to the world. And through our exchange platform, we can actually take those customers that are in Latin America to places like AM6, DKIX in Germany, Lynx in, in the UK, and others. Awesome. Is there anything else we should know? Actually, um, we will continue to upgrade the network. I mean, I think we're, we're doubling the capacity year over year, and we hope to continue to provide the best quality service in the market. Thanks for being here. Rich, thank you very much. Thank you.